Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic Bakugan unboxing. So we got this Bakugan Pro Armored Elite Starter Set. So it comes with Pyrus, Nilius, Ultra, which a lot of people say it looks like uh, the old school, like, you know, the first era of Bakugan looks like Darak, um, which, you know, you can kind of see it. It would be like if Darak, like, evolved and got two heads or something like that. But, yeah, you can definitely see the resemblance and the homage with it. But, yeah, man, overall it looks really, really sick, and, you know, it comes with a 40-card deck set which is really nice you know it's the only way of getting really armored elite cards at the current moment um hopefully they're able to put out like armored elite really really soon and also get age of our list like you know distributed in a lot of places too but yeah i mean currently age of our list you can find it like mayor stores so if you have a mayor by you like definitely check there because that's where age of our list is and i think there's some in the uk too but for armored elite uh for the current moment this is the best way of getting the cards so yeah Anyways, um, time to check out the back. So, looks like that's an Aquas uh, Drago, I think. I think it's Aquas Drago. Um, and then Ventus, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Is, is that Cortrox? Ventus Cortrox? I don't know. Um, but we'll find out a little bit. But anyways, it comes with um, the Ultra, two Bakugan, six cores, uh, three character cards, 40 ability cards, um, all that good stuff, you know. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, it is time to open this bad boy. So see here gotta get some scissors um yeah in order to open it well yeah just give me one second all right got all that tape off all that good stuff so yeah without further ado time to open this bad boy up and i'm gonna open it up this way got a little bit of there we go here we go boom and boom if you hear my dog sorry they're just going ballistic right now but yeah got nilius out of there got that gotta get the cards up out of here Got to get the cores, and then yeah, get the actual Bakugan out. So, yeah, okay. There we go. So, set the cards out to the side. Set that out to the side. And now, just to get this open, which, yo, that was actually not that bad. That actually didn't take too long. But, yeah, then we got the card deck set here. Um, But, uh, yeah, let's see here. I just got to get this off here, get this plastic out, and then get the cards out okay sweet so that actually didn't take too long okay so i guess first things first we will get into the course so we got a helix right here um plus 600 minus three yes that's the best one that's a really really awesome one well 501 also being another one 500 minus one but one of the best two uh flame fist plus 150 plus four also a nice fist the nice this is coming with some pretty good cores um then plus six for the damage with that flame fist you got this uh, regular fist. Aquas and Ventus get plus three, but plus 100 Bs. Um, another Helix, minus 100 plus three, and uh, two less energy needed for uh, Baku gear. So, yeah, man. Maybe for a damage deck, that would be pretty useful. Uh, yeah. And then for this fist, we got uh, plus two. And then two less cost for Baku gear. So, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool core. You know, some of that could be really useful, especially the ones that just bring down the cost of uh, Baku gear. But, yeah. Anyways, time to get into this review for Nilius. So, Pyrus, Nilius Ultra here looking so sick. Got the orange at the bottom of the neck of both uh, dragon heads. Then we got the green right there with some orange for the feet. And then all the red on the wings. A little bit of orange right there. The little details looked really, really sick. Orange on the tail. And just that huge tail. And B-Power 500. So, yeah, overall, pretty good right out of the gate. Hopefully, it has a pretty good Evo with it. So, yeah, uh, the main way of closing it is the heads in manual. So, put those back. Fold those back. Um, fold the wings in. Fold the body back. That's the main thing. Fold the body back. Uh, fold the wings in. And then wrap this tail around and bring it all the way around town. Well, yeah, if I can get it. Let's see. There we go. Clip that into place. And then there we go, man. So that's what Pyrus Nilius Ultra looks like in the ball form. So then, now, time to get into the cores. All right, let's see here. So this, it's a Ventus Bakugan. I'm not sure what it is right away. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's, I don't think it's um, a Howl Core. I'm not sure what it is right away. All right, let's see. Well, we'll find out. Three, two, one, and boom. And, yo. Oh, it's Pegatrix. Okay. It's Ventus Pegatrix. That's what it is. Ventus Core Pegatrix. But it looks really, really sick. Got the yellow horn right there. Got the lime green. Uh, a little bit of the yellow right there on the feet. And then the back legs, you got the lime green. And then also some yellow. But, yeah, and some Ventus right there. So, 
yeah man overall looks really really sick but yeah man it looks so so sick i like the detail of it big time and also this pegatrix looks really really sick but yeah man I think my dog's being a pain in the butt. But yeah, anyways, um, the way that you close it is uh, head in, wings, well not wings, front legs down. Um, I think wings in, and then push it all together. And uh, yeah, man, that is how you close Pegatrix. Yeah, guys, that's how you close uh, Pegatrix. Looks really, really sick in the ball form. You know, the lime green, a little bit of yellow, and all that green on it. Looking really, really awesome. And then we've got, uh, I think this is, is this Aquas Drago? I think it is Aquas Drago. Yo, it's sick. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and boom. Hey, and that's been roll. All right, let's see. Can it pick up two? Nah, it doesn't have the strength to pick up two of them. But this is Aquas uh, Core Drago looking so sick. All that light blue on the wings. I really, really dig it, man. Really want the diamond of this Drago because this Drago looks really, really cool, man. The front legs, then it's got the little arms right there. Two Baku Gear ports. And then got the tail right there, light blue on the inside, the aqua blue, um, you know, for the body. And then a little bit of orange for the eyes and all that good stuff. Then the horn, if I can get it. Let's see, there we go. So there's the horn. But yeah, overall it looks really, really sick, dude. And it's got a B power of 500, so the same as Nilius. But yeah, way you close it, head in, wings in, um, legs in, and then tail in. Then you just push it all together. And that's how you close Aquas. Uh, core Drago. So, yeah, man. Now it's time to get into uh, the character cards for them. So, we got Pegatrix right here, 600 and 2. And the artwork for Pegatrix looks so sick. Looks really cool in Ventus. And it looks like it's in, like, some kind of hurricane or some kind of storm. Which is, you know, that's pretty sick. Um, but, yeah, double fist with it. So, it can get up to, like, what, 750 max. But, you know, can get some damage with it, too. And hopefully it has a pretty good uh, Evo with it. And then we got Aquas Drago, 502, Flame Fist, and also a Helix. And that Helix will make it get up to, like, about 1,100, which will be really sick. But, you know, 1,000, and then even if it takes the one away, 1,001. And getting some uh, cards to add some damage with it would, would be really nice. But, yeah, that artwork looks really, really nice. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it was by the pier. Like, by a pier. I'm um, on a beach, but, yeah. And then Nilius Ultra. That artwork for Nilius looks so cool. The Pyrus artwork looks sick. 503 and uh, Flame Fist and also a Helix with it. So also get up to like 1100 or like, you know, best one would probably be a 500 with it. But still 1002 damage. Really strong right out of the gate. But yeah, man. Now I guess we're going to get into the opening action for Nilius. So here we go. Three, two, one. And uh, Bakugan, bro. And hey, there we go. It's hard for it to roll all the way over. You really got to roll it quickly in order for it to roll all the way over. But if it lands this way, it can pick up cores. Like, definitely. See, you can pick up two. It has a strength to pick up two. But imagine it does roll over. If you're careful with it, this thing can pick up three. That's crazy. It can pick up three cores. Which, imagine all that power with it. <laughs> that would be sick, man. Imagine, like, you're facing an opponent with a bunch of magic shields, and you take all their magic shields, and they're all 650s. That's what, like 18, 1900, yeah, 1900 damage that you'd get from that on top of its B power. That would be ridiculous, dude. That would be the ultimate upset wombo combo roll. But yeah, dude. Anyways, gonna close it up real quick. Actually, nah, nah, I won't. I'll just keep the heads open. But yeah, man. Last but not least, gotta get into uh, the deck itself. So, like I said, these decks are the main way of getting Armored Elite cards right now until they start releasing them. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll be soon. But yeah, got Pyru Hammer, plus 100 and plus 12, 6 cost. Uh, another Pyru Hammer. Um, Flame Jump, Aquas and Ventus get stopped and then make a Pyrus attack for 3. And it's 3 cost, so that's pretty sick. Um, and then got another Flame Jump right there. Got Magma Flow, plus 700, uh, 4 cost. Hyper Nilius Ultra, 708. In Power, when you play this, you can pay an additional 3... Uh, three energy for four damage. So yeah, man. But big time damage with that. Seven hundred and eight. It's pretty good right out of the gate. And it looks so sick, dude. And Nilius just splitting up. It splits up as the hyper this time. That's pretty cool. And then another hyper Nilius Ultra Giant Inferno. You get the double strike and it's two costs. So that's really sick. Uh, another Giant Inferno Magma Flow for plus seven hundred. Another one of those Magma Blaster. Uh, double strike and then plus two hundred and zero damage. But you still get the double strike with it, which that could be huge. Um. Got uh, Incendiary Flames, make a Pyrus attack equal to the 
damage of one of your Bakugan in a damage deck, this would be crazy, dude. Uh, but yeah, um, eight costs for it though, big time cost. Uh, Ventus Cyclonator boost when you play this. If you have seven or more energy cards, plus five damage, but uh, plus a hundred and plus one, three cost. Another Ventus Cyclonator. Wings of Aquas. When you play it, you draw two cards. Uh, five costs plus, uh, plus 100 and plus 6. Ultrasonic Speed. Uh, draw a card and then you can energize a card in your hand uncharged. Uh, Spring of Life. Yo, this is a new one. Uh, draw three cards and then you can energize a card in your hand uncharged. But it's five costs for it. And that artwork looks so sick, man. I really like the artwork for Armored Elite. Especially like the dual faction cards. And, you know, you have to have both Aquas and Ventus to be able to use the dual faction cards that's how they work so yeah you have to have both in your deck set up hydra's ultimate gamer uh boost if you have seven or more energy cards in play when you energize a card uh you could draw a card so yeah man that's that's pretty cool a way of getting some uh you know getting some cards in your hand another one of those another ultrasonic speed got aqua's crest plus four boost if you have seven or more energy cards in play plus 12 damage instead uh, Maximus Pegatrix, yo, 1510, yo, that's pretty sick, man, uh, I mean, if you can, like, you know, you put Air Zero or such, or you get, like, Dan in a deck, and you manage Air Zero and stuff out, that's a, that's a monster for sure, but it's eight cost, you know, so, yeah, um, then another Maximus Pegatrix, Hyper Drago, one cost, 704, and then boost, uh, for plus 300 and plus six, so 1010, if you have a bunch of energy cards with it, so, yeah, dude, that's really sick. Um, over and under stops Aquas and, well, non-Aquas and non-Ventus. So Aquas and Ventus are the only things that don't get stopped, but it's too cost. Um, but yeah. Another over and under. Natural Defense. Darkest or Pyrus gets stopped, and you can energize it uncharged. Um, another Natural Defense. Another Hyper Drago. Nature's Wrath for plus 2,000, but it's 7 cost. You know, but still, it's crazy, man. 2,000 Bs. Another Nature's Wrath. Uh, Deep Vines, minus 400. Boost for minus 8. Um, then another Deep Vines, and Drago getting dragged down right there. Windstorm, minus 100. Boost for minus 500. And it's no cost for that one. Ice Barrage, plus 5. Frost Strike, which that's crazy. I can switch up things big time. But uh, 3 cost for that. Another Ice Barrage. Got Burrowing Blow, plus 1,200. And it's uh, 5 cost. Another Burrowing Blow, and another Windstorm. So, yeah, overall, some pretty good cards in here. Um, yeah, man, no matter what, it's like getting some Armored Elite cards is really, really nice. So, if you're looking for Armored Elite cards, getting these setups, uh, you know, getting one of these uh, starter sets is definitely the best route to go for the current moment, you know. Um, but, yeah, hopefully soon we'll get, uh, you know, the Armored Elite cards and such. Uh, but yeah, till then at least this is the best way of getting them and also it's the way of getting yeah. these Bakugan and such But yeah, man, um, and if you're just starting out with the game, you know It's a good starter set because then you get three Bakugan you get the cores and then you get the deck set up And that's a good way of starting off is with these deck setups and such but yeah anyways guys um, that is it for this review on this awesome Bakugan Pro Armored Elite Pyrus Nilius Ultra starter set. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out of here.